Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good, I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of GBPUSD and what to expect from the market this week. In case you just come across our videos, in case you just come across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, I want to say big congratulations to those who were able to take the trade based on our last analysis of GBPUSD. When we did the last analysis, the market was here and we did say that the market would be going bullish and of course you can see this was our TP and it has been attained and exceeded. So we did say that the market would be going bullish and you can see it bought pretty hard and broke this resistance so if you were able to get in on that i want to say big congratulations to you now let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame on the monthly time frame let me take off this red horizontal line since our tp has been attained on the monthly time frame we can see this was where um gbp usd sold down to which was the lowest region it has been for over 30 years then it was at this region with this is going to buy which it bought up to this region and at this time it made an inverted pin bar on the monthly time frame so with this is going to sell which it sold down to this region when it made this doji we did say it's going to buy because on the lesser time frame it made a bullish reversal candlestick pattern and we took this buy which it bought up to this region now when it got here it was ranging for a while i think for about three months we saw indecision in the market then um last month ended as more like a doji even though the candle is buried but it's more like a doji you can see the body is quietly too low we could even say insignificant then this is the month of march which we've had only one full week and it is bullish now let's consider the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame the market saw from here down here and bought again when it got here it has been ranging you can see lots of indecision for about eight weeks before it finally saw down here and we saw bullish rejection and um the next candle was a doji this was a small bullish candle which at this time we expected it to buy and it sold a bit and we saw bullish rejection which um nado said that we expect the markets to buy this time around and you can see last week was quite a healthy bullish candle then let's consider the daily time frame on the daily time frame um the market range here for a couple of weeks then it sold down here and bought again retested this region then it sold and did not sell hard it stopped somewhere here and we saw bullish move so it was around this region that we were expecting it to sell. We did say that when it sell a bit and makes a bullish reversal candlestick pattern that we will take a buy. So we said that last week and you can see that exactly what happened. The market bought quite significantly and it has broken this resistance. Now let's consider the 4 hours time frame. On the 4 hours time frame we can see um, the market bought from here. Uh, it was making an ascending channel here then it started selling and at this region um of course having broken out of this ascending channel it's expected that it sell down to where the range started but it got it stopped somewhere here and bought then sold again made a double bottom here then made a pin bar which gave us all the reasons we needed to take the buy which it bought up to where we can see it right now so the last candlestick on the four hours time frame is a small bullish candle and this is occurring after a shooting star so that's what happened in the market last week what do we expect from the market this week pay attention this is going to be quite simple of course um we can see that um the most challenging let's use that word let's put it that way the most challenging part of GBP USD for a while now has been conquered and what's that it is that we needed GBP USD to break out of this resistance 
and you can see that resistance has held it for quite a while so we needed it to break out of this resistance each time it came to that region we see bearish rejection from about this time you can see we're seeing strong bearish rejection when it got here sold again in fact that was part of the reasons why we set our tp at that region last week so now that that region has been broken we know let me remind us of what we've said for the benefit of those who are just coming across our channel from january pay attention from january um, this is one reason why i said that you should follow the channel on a weekly basis so you can um follow the videos sequentially and systematically so you can easily tell what to expect from the market from seeing the actions on the charts per week so um from january we did say the market sold down here and having gotten to this region which was the lowest region that then it made a bullish reversal um a bullish reversal candlestick pattern here the next logical thing to expect is that gbp usd will buy then in buying we believe it's making an uptrend and an uptrend makes series of higher highs and higher lows remember that's what we say now even on lesser time frame we could say that it has made a series of higher highs and higher lows around here but here on the monthly time frame we can see that this is the first significant higher high and this is the first significant higher low so for that reason we're expecting the market to make the next significant higher high now when it started buying from here we're expecting it to go bullish really hard but when it got here it started ranging we saw um, lots of indecision and contention among buyers and sellers so um at this time when it sold last month we we looked forward to if we said that if it's closed as a bearish candle and closed below the 10 day simple moving average then we could consider itself then we'll say that this resistance has held it pretty strong but when last month ended it did not close below the 10 day simple moving average so for that reason we um looked forward to a bullish reversal then the weekly time frame gave sign of a bullish um reverse our strong bullish rejection so for that reason we still held our ground that the market is um, going to make the next higher high so you can see right now it has given the sign that it's going to make the next higher high the weekly time frame has confirmed that it is closing above this um, resistance region for the first time in um over two months and the daily time frame is showing us that so having seen it close above this resistance region the next thing we'll expect is that it sell and retest this region we expect it to sell and retest this region then make a bullish reversal candlestick pattern once that occurs we are going bullish again you get me so um <clears throat> of course if you look at the four hours time frame you will see that it is overbought the you see the rsi has gotten well above the overbought region look at the daily time frame you see that it is it has gotten to the overbought region you can see that here so and we said each time you see the market get to the overbought region you should look out for um selling opportunity and you can see before this small bullish candle it made a shooting star which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern so all of this confirms the fact that um it's going to sell a bit so the market we expect it to sell till about this region and when it gets here to make a bullish reversal candlestick pattern and will go bullish so when we go bullish this is where we expect it to come to again let me mark that region here so if we have good volume like we did um like we had last week this will be attained within this week but if not it could take into next week so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have a different opinion you can use the comment section if you have any question you can also use the comment section i'll be glad to have a conversation with you
Like we always say, trading is a highly risky endeavor. You don't want to venture into trading without proper knowledge. If you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading, you don't want to take this trade. You can watch this video for educational purpose, and it's going to save you better than risking your heart and money in something you don't fully understand. If you want to get our Forex course, which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market, it covers beginners to advanced lessons. It has 30 videos and 3 ebooks, including my book Trading Without Tears. I strongly recommend this course for anybody who's just starting out in the forex space or someone who's yet to find his way around the financial market. So if you want to get this course, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get our forex course. And if you want to subscribe for a signal service or give proper entry, stop loss and take profit, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service. And if you want to get a copy of my book Trading Without Tears, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy. If you want a hard copy, send us a direct message to any of our social media handles. You can find our social media handles in the description of this video. Tell us the location, we'll tell you the cost of shipping it. Once your payment is confirmed, you'll have the book delivered to you. So that's it from us on this video. I hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.